what's some of the challenges that you've had kind of being in that role without, you know, an admin and how, maybe what are some of the ways that you've actually kind of, and you kind of talk about this a little bit in the book, like what are some of the ways that you kind of circumvent that to, even though you don't have a formal system principal, how do you tap into leadership in your school? Um, just that I have to tap into the leaders, the silent leaders, the loud leaders, um, the ones that, you know, can generate a crowd. You know, I, I what you miss um, and what I've missed is there's no thought partner in the work and in the seat that understands the role. Like there's no other administrator that's in the building with me that like we can think and unpack it through. Yeah. Um, but what I've done over the years is built up a team around me of what I need. And it took a while to get that, though, because I also am very stubborn and independent. And, um, you know, my team loves to remind me sometimes of that. <laughs> but, you know, you need those people. Right. You right. know, you need those people. Yeah. They're like, you don't have to do all of the things by yourself. And and I'm like, yes, I do, because I'm the principal. They're like, right. but we're here to help you. Hmm. Um, so what I've done um, is found the people that um, fill the void that I have in like my leadership tool belt. So, and I make them, they are the, the, the COO of whatever that is. So for example, I have a math lead and she is the COO of math. I don't try to under, I go to her for the questions. I don't try to figure it out myself. If I have a question about something with the math curriculum or what our math teacher should be doing or what we should do, I go to her because if I gave her the autonomy to run the math program, then I have to trust that she is, um, yeah. you know, she has all of the information and things that I need. So I've, I've tried to build up people around me that we work as one mm -hmm. and we work as a team because I dream really big. I, I shoot for the moon. Um, I'm very much of a futuristic person and they're like, okay, come on down. Like, this is what we need to do first to get to the mountaintop. Um, and so like, you need those people to kind of push and question right. and, um, and not yes, men. I don't, I don't have a, I, I don't have any yes men on my team, maybe one who's like, okay, it's all right. We can do that. And then, it, but she, she's the one that kind of makes me feel validated right. and seen. And then the rest of them start coming and be in their the pit <laughs> and they're like, nope, this is when it needs to happen. But you just have to trust and right. build a team. You have to. I think that's the only way that if you're ever in this single administrator, single principal role, like you have to build a team and understand that like you're the principal, but you don't, you know, you can't run the building by yourself. You know, so it's, it's interesting because you use the term thought partner and a lot of people would use that term, but the way you're talking about is actually legitimate where some people it's like a thought confirmer. That's what they're actually looking for. Yeah. They're just looking for <laughs> someone to say, I'm going to say this thing. Just tell me I'm right. Uh -huh. and, yeah. and then I'll feel good. Um, I was very influenced when I became an assistant principal by the, the person who was my principal. And I don't know if you read about this, but uh, I actually got in a fight in the interview with the person who was, uh, who was hiring me, who like, I got in a fight and I was like, what is going on here? And him and I were just going at each other. And then he hired me and he said, the reason I hired you is you're the only one who pushed back. And I needed, I need someone who challenged me and here's at the end of the day, and I think this is a really important thing he said to me, when, when we go out there, like you can push back all you want, but I actually have to make, always have to make the final decision because like, it's going to be on me, right? So you're not getting in trouble. If something goes wrong, I am. So I have to go with kind of, you know, what I feel you got to back me up then. And yeah. so like, whether we disagree or not, like do that before, don't do it after and don't do it during.